Hello everyone, my name is Joanna Reynolds with Pink Cactus Studio and today we're going to paint some science magic. So start with your navy blue, that's the darker of the three blues, and pour it onto your paper plate and just use a big brush and start covering the entire canvas. Clean off your brush once you're done and then grab your royal blue, that's the, me the medium of the three blues, and your small brush. And you're going to start with a big long curve from the top of your canvas down to the bottom. And then you're going to do that same curve on the other side. So this is gonna be a big long oval for your atom's orbit, okay? So, and then you can round out the top and the bottom once you get them nice and thick and you've got them nice and clean. So just take your time here. Now we're gonna make three of these orbits and three of these um, long skinny ovals. So the next one's gonna go diagonal from the top corner to the bottom corner. And again, do the same thing, make it nice and thick, make it nice and clean, and then add the other side. And here we go with our third one from corner to corner, and then do the other side, double up that line, make it thick and clean. And if you can, round out the ends. If you can't see them, no worries. If you can, kind of just round it out there. And then add three circles as the particles in your atom. They can go anywhere along the orbit. And then clean off your brush really well because we are going into white and you don't want any of that blue in your white. So next up, grab your white, pour it onto your paint palette, and we're going to draw three beakers. One over here, one over here, one over here. The first one's gonna be a circular beaker. So just sort of go for it. Believe in yourself and just start making that circle. The slower and more controlled you have, you go, your circle will be nice and clean and controlled. Don't over correct it because then it will start to get really big and you can't really do much with it once it's too big. So just take your time and make sure it's as good as you can get. And then we're gonna make the long skinny neck for this beaker and make sure it's just coming straight out of that circle and then a nice little top hat for the opening for the lid there. The next beaker is a triangle beaker. Start with the bottom, then do the two sides of the triangle and you can round out those corners. And then take your time on those lines, make it nice and clean. And then add the little neck of this beaker. It's gonna be a little bit shorter than the circular one. Make sure it's straight out the top and then you can give them a little top hat. The third beaker is gonna be a rectangle, so just start with a rectangle. Now the top of this one can be a curve, because it's a nice big opening, so curve down, and then above, curve up. And that'll make it look more like a cylinder. And then clean up your lines. And then give it a little spout, just a triangle popping off the side. And I'm gonna go ahead and make my top of my other beakers kind of like an oval or a football shape just to make it look a little more three-dimensional. Down here, if you wanna add something like gems or 2020, something like that, this is a perfect spot for that if you want to. I'm just gonna do that with white and then clean up my lines. Next up, grab your pink, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill in the chemicals inside your circular beaker. So just start with some lumpy lines and then fill in the bottom of your beaker. And then start to add some dots and some magic and bubbles coming out of the beaker. And you can let these go everywhere, all over your canvas. Clean off your brush, it's onto the next color, which is the teal. 
and that can go into the triangle one, same thing, lumpy line, fill it in, and then bubbles and magic coming out everywhere. Last beaker is going to be the lime green. Same thing, clean off your brush and go for that third color. Now something you wanna think about with the dots is a variety of sizes. So you don't want them all the same size because then it'll look more like polka dots and not so much like magic and whimsy. And you want it to look like magic and whimsy, okay? So let them be different sizes and let them go all over the page. Clean off your brush really well and we're gonna go back to white and we're gonna start to add some bubbles and some dots into the color that we added into the beakers and then all over the entire canvas. You can even put dots inside of dots, but just make sure they're sort of everywhere. And the last step I did was add a little bit of that teal into my gems word just for fun. And there you have it guys, thank you so much. Hope you enjoy, let me know if you have any questions. Bye.